Okay, right now I'm getting ready to release the pouch and I'm going to allow it to slip out between my thumb and finger. As it does, it starts to go to run down. I started to barely move right there. Here I'm moving more. And I continue an arc. Van follows around to the back side following my arc. It comes to the back side of the slingshot. You can see that it completely misses me. Drops below the slingshot. Starts moving back forward a little bit. You can see my thumb and forefinger are still pointing forward. And there it's starting to drop down. Right now, notice my right hand with a dent in it. That's from holding the pouch, and the ball actually sinks into the meat of your thumb. And when you release it, that divot there acts like a speed bump. It's really, really hard to see, but it actually is doing it a little bit. Um, if I had that more on the back side of my thumb, I would have a heavier bump, but... I actually hold the ammo itself on top of the pouch and so I'm really holding it right in the middle of my thumb which still like I said it creates a small speed bump right now you see the bands are completely down my fingers still out and that's the way I do it I hope you all enjoy and got something from it